Welcome to the installation video for a typical US motor condenser fan. After troubleshooting the system and diagnosing the motor needs to be replaced, begin by turning off power to the system at the electrical panel. It's not a bad idea to pull the disconnect at the outside unit for safety. Remove the screws to gain access to the electrical connections. Verify no voltage is present with your multimeter or tester. Before disconnecting any wires, make note of their location. Even taking pictures will help rewiring the replacement motor. Disconnect the motor leads from the contactor or defrost control panel if you are working on a heat pump and the capacitor. Caution, make sure to discharge the capacitor to prevent accidental shock. Unwire the motor and remove the top condenser grate which holds the motor. Set it upside down and inspect the fan blade for any damage. Remove the fan blade from the motor by loosening the set screw. If damage occurs during the removal process, replace the fan blade. Make sure it has the exact same number of blades, diameter, and pitch angle. Once the blade is removed, turn the cover over and remove the nuts attaching the motor to the cover. Make note of the location of the wires and the conduit as you remove the old motor. The most common mounting is four through bolts through the condenser fan grate. Verify the replacement motor you are installing has the correct mounting for the system you are working on. Mount the motor to the cover, remembering the location of the conduit as noted before. Always rerun the wires through the conduit when replacing the motor. A grounding lead is included to use if needed. Most units are grounded via the condenser cover grate. Remember to remove the drain plugs from the end shield pointing downward when installed. Now verify the direction of rotation. The motor's rotation can be changed by simply reversing connections of the reversing leads. Ensure the reversing leads are in a safe location, not sticking out of the top of the condenser grate or interfering with the fan operation. Now install the inspected or new fan blade, verifying the fan is in the same location when it's placed back in the fan shroud. Place the motor and the cover on top of the condenser. Run the wires back to the electrical box on the unit. Most OEMs use a three-wire installation using a dual cap with a high voltage post, a common post, and a fan post. Aftermarket motors have four wires, high voltage, common, and two capacitor leads, brown and brown with a white stripe. You simply wire the black to the L1 side of the contactor, the white to the common post on the capacitor, and the solid brown to the fan side of the capacitor. The brown with a white stripe gets tapped off and not used. Best practice is to always use a new capacitor when replacing a motor. Verify the microfarads match the required rating for both the motor and the compressor. Using a separate capacitor for the motor is also acceptable. However, make sure the microfarad rating is correct and the cap is mounted in the weather protected area. Reinstall the cover to the condenser unit and power the unit on and verify operation. Airflow direction should be up through the top and not sucking back down. Also confirm the amp draw is within the motor nameplated value. You can find this and other installation videos at usmotors.com slash installation videos.